right, this is the Men 930 Podcast. We are back again, and sorry about that. We're going to hopefully have this thing rolling on the way home. I am Langel. Jeremick is not here. He may be with us Friday, but right now, um, right now tonight, I want to talk about a subject that has kind of been weighing on my heart and my situation. Uh, I am a pastor and a teacher, and but first and foremost of that, a follower of God and a husband and a father. And in all that stuff, I also seek to provide for my family, to protect my family, to uh, be there for them in many ways that extend just beyond financial, but also just to seek there to be for them spiritually, uh, physically, and just to help to do things around the house. So, uh, the phone just fell down. <laughs> That's going to be something we're going to try to fix. Um, so, anyways, uh, yeah, it's... So, I got all that stuff, and then I'm somebody who likes to play video games. Uh, likes to... I, I don't... I really don't see myself as somebody who... I read more than what I do play video games, honestly. And uh, there's just not enough time in the day to do all those things. And the good thing about it is, is that whenever you do have time to do those things, you get the things that you like at a cheaper price than what you did. Like, I, I get books and video games way cheaper than what I did whenever I was single because, honestly, I don't have the time to focus on it, and whenever I do, oh, I can get it, you know, for 20 or 30 bucks. So, there is that. However, you get the urge to fulfill that hobby of yours, and you don't get a chance to do it. And you, you find yourself changing, and it's really kind of neat. And it's really kind of cool to where, hey, you get to go home, and talk with your wife and spend some time with her and just honestly lay at the couch and rub her feet and see how her day was going and then kiss your boy goodnight and then sit down and read a good book, have a cup of coffee or sit down and have a good uh, play a good video game which nowadays I mean uh, I mean playing a video game to me is just like reading a book uh, books are way better by the way I feel like books are like the best medium you can possibly have and uh, you know then you know just get all that stuff put in there and prioritize it because honestly you only have so much time in this world how are you going to spend it and uh, that's ultimately what it boils down to so uh, just something I've been kind of contemplating just kind of think about and uh, tonight I want to talk about some books that I've read and excuse me one second. Books that I have read. Um, books that I am reading. Uh, video games that I've been playing. And just kind of what's going on. So, first off. Sorry. First off, uh, I have Joe Hill, uh, Heart Shaped Box. I finished that up at about, oh gosh, um, I finished that up at about a week and a half. And really good book. Again, if I can, you know, it's about a 300, 350 page book. Finished up in a week and a half. And that's just me being able to sit down and read whenever I can. Um, wow, if you want a good ghost story, man, you got it. And it's got a little bit of a love story in there, and I liked it. It was great. It wasn't that deep. It was kind of cheesy, but I liked it. Um, Joe Hill is becoming my, well, one of my favorite novels, no, novelists. Um, 
Clyde Barker is my favorite. Joe Hill is right there with him. Uh, man, good stuff by Joe Hill. And uh, the, right now I am reading um, Route 66, The Haunted Route 66. Uh, it just talks about Route 66 and the haunted places around there. It's okay. Um, it's getting better. There is more history about the place than ghost stories. But I think you kind of need... You need history with ghost stories, but you need to mix it really, really well. An example, there will be a... You'll read two pages, and then, honest to God, I had some of these stories where there was literally a three to five sentence paragraph about the ghost stories about that building that you just read two pages about. Uh, I find it hard to really follow. Her writing is very confusing. And maybe it's maybe it's just so simple. I mean, she just, she just labeled off all this information. You're like, okay, it's this big, okay, it's this tall, all right, this around this time, okay, cool, these people lived in there, awesome. Um, so, but then she tells the ghost story, and then you go back to, wait, what, who was in there? Oh, okay, they were a page and a half ago, okay, and then you go back, it was, it's very, 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 it's, it doesn't grab my attention very well. However, it is interesting, um, to an extent, it's, it's all right, I'm almost halfway done. And then I'm reading uh, the Peculiars book. It's the companion with uh, Ransom Riggs, <clears throat> Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiars. Um, I love that trilogy. It's so good. This book is just about, it's like folklore and folk tales in that time frame, in Peculiardom. And. I love it. I've read one story in there. It's bizarre and twisted. It's it's fantastic. I'm just... I can't get enough of it. It's, it's awesome. And I am reading those. After that... Gosh, I don't know. I probably should crack open the Joe Hill Fireman book. Um... Just to just because it's a 2016 horror novel that is, I kind of want to. I've never like read with the times. I always just kind of was late to the game. So if I could read that and kind of see what everybody's talking about, I would love it. Um, so I'm up between that or um, Dan Simmons' Abominable. I've never read Dan Simmons' stuff, but I've looked at a lot of good things about it. Also, I've got some books that went for Christmas called S for, uh, well, it's, it's S and it's, uh, J.J. Abrams has wrote it. Um, I just got a lot of books that I really just want to crack open and read. Um, just, just can't wait for that. Then I have, uh, video games wise, I'm a big Darksiders fan and I'm playing Darksiders 2. I'm about ready to finish the main story. However, there is a huge, extensive, um, side quests. There is extensive, um, not just side quests, but also there's extra campaigns that you unlock with the DLC. Like, I, I, I am into this game, and it is huge, just massive. And I, I played it on the 360, and now playing on the PS4 again, and I just, oh, I love it, it's, it's so good, am I a little bit getting old with it, yeah, just because I've played it before, but I want to beat this game and move on to the next thing I want to play, I don't know what that'll be, uh, whether it's a Battlefield Hardline, or I do have Gears of War 4, um, I'll just have to wait and see exactly what I want to do there, but, um, just a great, great time, I'm, I'm really loving it. And uh, I can't wait till I'm done and the next game I get to crack open. Um, but you know, you got the PS4 Pro that's out. It's got the 4K ability. However, I don't have a 4K TV, but I will probably get one hopefully within the next year or so. Um, they're dropping out of price like crazy, which is fantastic. You 
got that going on. Then also we have, um, gosh, what else do we got? Uh, you know, you got the Scorpio, the Xbox Scorpio, which will be coming out next year, which um, I'm really looking forward to that. So video games are going to be doing a lot of cool things. And if you wait, I found out, if you wait with video games, if you wait, you really get a better bargain. You really, really do. If you just sit back, relax, and see what's going on and enjoy the show, and then have the patience just to go and make a wise choice, you are going to ultimately enjoy uh, that hobby of yours way better. And... I encourage you tonight that um, all of us here, we have a lot of hobbies and we do a lot of things, <clears throat> but uh, I mean, I'll tell you what, focus on your family, uh, all the entertainment stuff that we all love to do, books, movies, video games, whatever it is, let's focus on family, and uh, I challenge you guys tonight, go home, hang out with your family, tell them that you love them. And have a great, great evening. And we will see you guys next time on the Midnight 30 Podcast. I am Langel, and we are Ghost. And it is a super moon tonight. It is awesome. I hope you guys can see it. Bye.